We got healthy. Uh, we had a lot of banged up players. Uh, numbers aren't high at Henrico. Um, so the, the bye week at week 10 was something that we thought about um, when we became a playoff team for years and years and years. So now we feel like we are. So we expect to be in the playoffs. We don't expect to be six and four in the playoffs. Uh, we had a young group this year. So we were able to get healthy through the bye week. Um, I was able to, to, to take that time to teach the younger kids how to go about their business at Henrico on and off the field. You can't be any more familiar with an opponent than you right. guys are with right. Island Springs. Right. Uh, it's a daunting task yes, when sir. you look at what they've got, but they can be beaten just like they any can. other team. And where do you start with getting your kids prepared to face them again? Well, you, you, you tell them the truth about them. You don't, you don't try to go in there and say, hey, uh, this is our week to win. You know, say, we tell them the truth. We say, hey, we got to do these things right to be successful. Um, and the, the great thing about our kids and our schedule, um, like I said over, over here uh, with Gary, there's, you know, it's 38 and two, our opponents this year. And so we played a tough schedule and some really good football. Um, so our kids are battle tested and they understand what Holland Springs brings to the table and, and our, our coaches do as well. How hard is it to play mistake-free football though? Um, that's challenging. That's challenging with young kids. Um, experience is, is uh, what, what makes us all a little bit better in life. Uh, we, we, we try to take the thinking out of it for our kids and, and, and make it simple and rep it. Our coaches, my coaches, my assistant coaches that I practice right now, um, trying to just make sure we get things right. 